Hey there, TRW crew. Matt Vassallo here with rhinestoneworld.com. So I wanted to go over how to customize a couple of our new awesome sports designs that we have. So these are a few new sports designs that we'll be releasing tomorrow on July 14th. And wanted to show you how we can customize that, these. So we showed you a few weeks back how to um, make the glitter go inside as far as your heat transfer vinyl here. But obviously, like I said before, we have that coming on the... Um, on the upgrade for the TRW Stone Wizard as well, but I want to show you just how you can customize different things like this, especially for these awesome um, new sports balls that we have. So, very easy to do. What I'm going to do real quick is I'm just going to lock this layer so it doesn't move around as we're working on this. So, you can see our football design we have right here. Awesome looking design. Then we have football in a silver glitter inside there. Well, I'm just going to show you how to make some cool custom designs that you can do with these um, different sports bases that we have. So even though the different sports are going to come with football and baseball and soccer and basketball inside it, I'm going to show you how easy it is with the with Corel Draw and the TRW Stone Wizard, how you can take those out and change it to something else. So let's say we want to take this football one out. So we're just going to delete that football. And let's say this is for the Mustangs football. So you got a school and let's say they are a green color. So we're going to do our emerald here. And we're just going to we'll lighten this up a little bit so we can see it a little bit better. Okay, there we go. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this for Mustangs football so you can see how cool it looks customized. So I'm going to grab my text tool here and I'm just going to type out Mustangs. So I just typed out Mustangs, all capital letters. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my fonts and... Oh, I was pulling it in. This is a um, kind of trial version I have of with some new upgrades, but I'm not showing you any of the upgrades right now just because we don't want to release it too quick for some other people to see as well. So we've got our impact font here and let's go ahead and make it large. And what I want to do here now when I'm doing this is I want to make it as big as we want as far as the top half of it. So I'm going to just make it pretty distorted here off the start. And drag that to there. I'm going to drag that to about there. I'm going to bring this in a little bit here. And right there looks about good. Bring this M in a tiny bit. That looks about good. So this is where we're at right now. So now what I need to do is I'm going to click on the text. And I'm going to go to effects and then our envelope tool. So in our envelope tool, it's going to pull up right here on the right hand side. We're just going to click on this one right here, which the second one in is called your single arc. So I'm going to click on my single arc and I'm going to add new. And I had my text selected already. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag that, that bottom node, that square right there that's an editable square and node. I'm going to drag that up and then you'll see another one right here that you can drag down. Okay? And this is how easy it is. I mean, this is... This is ready, done, and good to go, and we can sell this with the heat transfer vinyl, make it with the glitter heat transfer vinyl to go inside there, and that's an awesome looking design. Now what we can also do is, like we were doing before, we could just have it say Mustangs football here, and let's turn it to that impact font again. Let's just say we wanted the impact font going along the bottom here. And we could even do it something like that. So you got your full rhinestones. We still got, let's see, about 1,200 rhinestones in the design. But then you got your glitter heat transfer vinyl in there. So you can fully customize it for Mustangs football. Or you could even have it say Mustangs um, mom of number 23. So if you wanted something like that in the heat transfer vinyl, you could easily do that. And what we could do is just make it a little bit smaller there. Now you saw in a couple of them we had it curved. I'm going to show you how easy it is to do that as well. So we have our three point curve tool here. I have it pulled off to the side. And what you can do is, let's just say we 
start right there. I'm going to hold shift and go right across to the bottom of this side. And then I'm going to pull it right up to the top there and clip. So you can see we went right along the bottom of those stones right there to see right where it is. And now what we can do is click on our text. Okay, then we're going to go up to our text tool, fit text to path. So you'll see as we're moving around, our text is moving around with us. So what we can do is let's say we want our text right there. That's fine. But you know what? Obviously we want it off that line a little bit. So let's just drag that down a tiny bit. And when, as soon as you have that red line, you know that it's centered perfectly. And that looks pretty good there. So now I'm going to go arrange, break text apart. So I broke it apart from that line. I'm going to delete that line. And then you got that there. So you got a nice arch underneath with your heat transfer vinyl, your glitter vinyl, mom of number 23. And we're working all of that off, off of our base design right here. So you can see how easy that is to fully customize an awesome looking shirt like this with these different sports that we have. Now what we also have, I'm going to show you, is you can do it in rhinestones as well. And I'm going to show you how to do that with the wizard. So with the wizard here, we're just going to type out soccer and we're going to switch that to our impact. Let's drag that soccer pretty big here and we want it so obviously the stones aren't overlapping into that green. And again, we want to drag it up to our highest point at the top and our lowest point at the bottom. Everything looks good there. So again, in our envelope tool, our single arc and add new. Then we have our nodes that we can pull down right here. I'm going to pull this one down. I'm going to push that one up. And let's see, we might want to go a little bit higher on that guy. And let's go a little bit lower on that guy. That's looking pretty good there, I think. If we wanted to, we could even pull this up some more, this S. And over here on this side, we could pull that R up a little bit more if we want. Probably don't want it up quite that high because we're going to have those stones going in, remember. Okay, so there we go. We got our soccer design. Again, we can do it in heat transfer vinyl if we want. But now what we can also do is if we go to the stone wizard, we go to our place and fill features. Now, I'm not going to go completely on this outer line right here. If I did that, I could just add stones to the path. But I want to go a tiny bit inside of that line. And I'm going to show you how easy that is. So what we're going to do, actually, with the word soccer, because it's not doesn't have a lot of words or a lot of letters, like the word basketball would have a lot of letters, you might have to go inside a little bit. Let's see what the soccer turns out like. So let's just grab, uh, I don't know, a blue zircon real quick just so we can see it. Zoom in here on this soccer. We got the soccer selected. Now we're gonna go, let's say a point, actually a point, let's go point zero two spacing. And we are going to do a corner detect up to I don't know, 120 degrees. And we're gonna add stones to the selected path. Let's see what that does for us. I actually stoned that out pretty darn nice. So I'm gonna highlight it all and I'm gonna clear my paths. And let's click on this, select same color. Uh, let's just turn it to a citrine so we can see it a little better. So you can see that. Now I'm going to highlight all of my yellow here and I'm going to mark my top layer overlap. And the reason why we're going to do that is we want to get any of those overlapping. So I'm going to mark top layer overlap here. It's going to run through its thing right here, and it's going to mark all those top layer overlaps red real quick. So there's all of our overlaps. And then we can zoom in and say, okay, little touch-ups here. Let's move this here. Let's move that to there. Let's move this up a little bit. A little too tight there. Um, not looking too bad here. We can throw a stone there. I would actually touch this up just a tiny bit open up this S a little bit more. That's looking good there. And let's bring this S out a little bit more too. Make it kind of symmetrical with the top. That's looking beautiful there. S-O-C-C. -C. 
Let's look at our C's here. Looking good, looking good, looking good. I would actually, we probably have enough room to slip another stone in there. We do. So, boom, and boom. Good, good. Again, slip another stone in there real quick. We could draw a line and just place the stones real quick or kind of respace it, but by the time you do all that, just adding a few stones and holding shift to drag it, drag it across straight is just as easy. And you'll get used to all these different tools in Corel Draw as you work with it a little bit more. Um, let's see, we might be able to fit another one in here too. I would say that works pretty well there. See if we can get one more in this area. That's pretty good. One more over here. Looks good. And this E doesn't look too bad there. But let's see if we bring that down a little bit. Bring this up a tiny bit. I just want to get rid of a little bit of that extra spacing. And I'm going to show you. I'm just going to pull these in a little bit. I'm going to pull these three in a little bit, and it's just going to clean up that spacing a little bit. You can see what that did there. So we still got the E going at that angle perfect. Now our R is arched right here. Boom. Done. Good. And looks like we have one little spot right there. R, R. Good, good. Soccer, soccer. Perfect, perfect. Okay, there we go. And you got your soccer design fully stoned out too as well. So if you don't have a vinyl cutter, you pre-cut templates. Or even if you do have a cutter and you want to have a couple different options, you can stone it out like we just did right here. Or you can use the heat transfer vinyl like we did before as well. And then we also, with, with the different fonts that we have available on the website, we could do um, mom of. And our mom of this time... We probably want to do it in the lowercase. And let's pull up our TRW Stone Wizard here. And let's go to our TRW, I think it's 200. Yep, 200.90. And we got that there. And then we also have another mini number font. So I can do number 23. And let's see here. Scroll down here. Let's see if we have the mini numbers. We might not have them actually installed on this computer here, but we can check real quick. Oh, there's some mini numbers. Boom. There we go. So now what we can do, go to our stone wizard, resize that, those to SS10, and resize this to SS10. Perfect. Center this across the bottom right here. Looks good. Center this up with it. Looks wonderful. And now we can group both of those. Let's pull them up near the edge here. Obviously we don't want it touching there. And that's looking pretty good. So now we got a custom design, mom of number 23. We can change that if we want to the crystal as well and select same color, change that inside soccer ball to the crystal and we could even change the inside of this yellow here to the crystal as well. That would probably look pretty awesome. So hope this video tutorial helped you out with the TRW Stone Wizard, these new awesome designs we have. How to use your envelope tool to make some awesome designs inside our banner type areas here to be able to customize it. So even though design is going to come to you with the soccer ball and soccer inside it, baseball, football, basketball, just wanted to show you the different options you could do with this with using the heat transfer vinyls that we have available on the website with the glitter vinyls, the holographics, the electrics, and just the regular easy lead. So you have many, many options besides just rhinestones. So just wanted to let you know that with these different designs. Again, if you do have any questions, make sure to give us a call. Number is 941-755-1696. If you feel like this video did help you out, make sure to click that little like like button right below this video on YouTube. Let us know that the videos are helping you. 
that like button shows us that these videos are definitely helping you guys out, helping you with the designs in your business. And make sure to comment. Let us know what you think about the video. Anything that you like or anything that you would want us to include in videos that will help you. That's the whole reason why we create all these free videos is to teach you guys the business, help your business, and help your business grow. So hope you enjoyed this one. Again, this is Matt with the rhinestoneworld.com and you guys all have a great day.